My name is Michael Bornstein. I'm one of 52 children that survived the Auschwitz concentration camp. The average life expectancy in Auschwitz was two weeks, and I lasted for seven months. My father, my brother, my mother, my grandmother, and I were sent to the Auschwitz concentration camp on cattle cars. The memories basically in Auschwitz are terrible. I was four years old at Liberation Day, 75 years ago, but my tattoo is there and I see it every day and it has never left me. There are a few things that I want future generations to know what I learned from the Holocaust. Speaking out is more rewarding than staying silent. I didn't speak about my experiences in the Holocaust for 70 years, but I am glad that I'm doing it now. It helps me stay a little bit more at peace and have closure. The Holocaust did not start by killing millions of Jews. It started by making jokes about Jews, gypsies, about LGBT communities. The Nazis, they were bullies and they were murderers. I think it's important to be kind to people. They will respect you if you respect them. Education is the antidote to the hatred that we are seeing today. I think people need to understand that bullying and bigotry does not work and we need to work together. I think it's important to share the truth, learn from the past and be part of the generation that ends bigotry. My mother was a very optimistic person, even in Auschwitz. She had a saying, Gam ze ya'avor. It's Hebrew, it means this too shall pass. So when we speak to kids, they have down days, they're depressed. Even though you're having a dark day, look forward to the future. Things will get better. Think about Gamze Yavor. My brother was killed by the Nazis. My father was killed. And I grew up not having a father. And I feel so lucky that my kids have a father. We work together, we go to things together. I think that's what life is all about. What would I say to a denier or Nazi today? Well, I would say that evil didn't win. Hate didn't win and bigotry didn't win. 